Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint Chaos Cultists for the Crimson Slaughter Army. This is my take on painting cultists and you can use it to paint any color scheme you would like. You would only need to change the primary colors to the colors of your own faction. When you paint cheap models like cultists you may want to keep the painting standard low so feel free to drop any steps if you feel like it. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay after the video to learn how can you support my channel. I'm going to start by priming the model with automotive gray primer. You can use any primer that you like. This is a cheap primer, so use it very lightly. And to thin down your paints, you can use just water, but I like to use this Liquitex drying retarder. I'm going to start by painting the skin with Buckman's Glow. In this step, we are not worried about painting over other stuff because we're going to paint over them later in another step. Just uh, give it a give it a solid coat and multiple coats if you need. But with this primer and this paint, it only needs one coat. Next, I'm going to paint the shirt with Mechanical Standard Grey. We're trying to paint from the from the inside to the outside. We're trying to paint the lower layers of the skin and clothing first, so that we don't have trouble painting uh, the stuff over them instead of trying to paint to the inside of the model. It's easier to start with the parts that are deepest uh, to more close to the skin of the model. Next, I'm going to use Mephiston Red, and I'm going to choose this uh, little hoodie thing on the top of the model as the primary color for the Crimson Slaughter, which is red. You can change the color of, of the part that you decide to use as your primary color to the color of your own faction. Next, I'm going to use Steel Legion Drab to paint the pants. What I'm doing here, I'm choosing one part of the model to be the primary color and the rest of the areas I'm going to choose different grays, blacks, you can use white or browns to paint on different colors. The reason for using this color specifically is because they are neutral colors and uh, they don't interfere too much with the color scheme when you use them like, like this. Next I'm going to use Vallejo model color black to paint the boots and all of the places that you would like to be black. So you can change the colors around. Remember that cultists are uh, normal people that are trying to gain favor from the chaos god, so you can just paint them as normal people. Next, dried bark. I'm going to use it to paint all of the leather parts around the model. The idea of painting cultists like this is just imagine any normal person that wants to fight in, a, in an army. It, they just tell them to pick something red so that you can fight with us. And it would be a good idea to paint the par some part that is very visible on the model. So then when you're looking at it from up top you can see clearly the red. And the rest you can use any color that you like. I would recommend neutral colors. And that's it. I'm going to use Doom Ball Brown to paint the hair. This is a nice reddish brown to give a little bit of a redhead kind of look to the hair, different from the leather areas. And Lead Belcher to paint all of the metal parts. I'm using, on most of the steps I'm using the Liquitex drying retarder to thin down the paint because it extends the time that you can work with this paint and you can paint many models at the same time. I, I like painting five to six models at a time and I try to paint the same model uh, that I have repeated so that I can paint them quick quicker. 
And lastly, I'm going to use Valdezar Gold to paint the gold areas around the model. In this case, it's just this little uh, chaos star on the neck. Once it's done, we finished blocking the miniature with base coats. I'm going to give the whole model a wash of Agrax Earthshade. When you're done doing this, you can leave the model like that. It kind of looks finished and it, and it looks pretty cool. But yet, I'm going to give it a, a lot more steps, a little bit more steps so that it can look better and you can choose to follow them if you like. Uh, but I would recommend to keep it simple if you're going to paint a lot of cultists. I like to highlight uh, most of the the primary and secondary colors on my cultists and the skin I give it to highlights. Next I'm going to use Necron Compound and I'm going to dry brush this color onto all of the metal parts. Don't worry to be super clean, just give it a very light dry brush to pick the edges very quickly and that's it. You don't need to really make it look like it's clean or very pristine. It's just a cultist, so just make it quick. And the Iron Breaker, I'm going to use it to pick up places that are hard to do with a uh, dry brush. I'm just painting them with Iron Breaker. Next, Tuscor Fur is going to be dry brushed in, into the beard and the hair of this model. Just very careful not to get onto other stuff, and if you do, you can just clean up very quickly. And that's it. Next, uh, Cadian Flesh Tone. This color, you have to be a very a little, a little bit more careful because it tends to leave crumbs and stroke brush strokes around the model. So be sure to water it down and apply different thin coats. I applied I think two or three coats, but it's a very it's a very small area so that you can do it very quick. So it doesn't matter. Uh, once it's done, I'm going to use Kislev Flesh and with this color I'm going to pick the sharpest edges around the skin and the places that are most exposed to light on the top of the muscle structure and stuff like that. Just to give it a an extra highlight to make this skin pop a little bit more. Next, I'm going to use Mechanica Standard Grey and the same colors that we used on around the model, we're going to use the same color again to just clean up and leave the wash on the recesses and just give it a little bit of more vibrance to the colors, bring them back again and get rid of the very matte finish that the wash gives to the model. Next, downstone is going to be edge highlighted onto the grays. Just pick the sharpest edges and that's it. It's very quick. Next, Steel Legion Drab, the same. The same idea, we're just going to clean up with this color. You can leave the places that are facing directly down uh, as a shade color and pick the rest of the, air the areas that are exposed to light, uh, clean them up with uh, this color. I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown to highlight the Steel Legion Drab. I'm just going to pick the folds that are more raised around the pants and the edges around the holes in the pants and places that are very stretched. Next, my fist in red is going to be used to clean out the red, of course. Just try to avoid the recesses and paint the rest of the red parts with this color just to bring the color back.
after that I'm going to use Wild Rider Red and this is going to be used as an edge highlight to the red. On my tabletop cultist standard I don't do any edge highlights but I'm showing you this because you can give a better look to your cultist if you want. If you want to paint uh, cultists that are a little bit more important like uh, the champion or something like that you can give it edge highlights and stuff like that and I'm going to finish this model by using Secret X Bronze on the gold parts and that's it so this is the end result this is my take on cultist you basically pick an area of the model to be painted with the primary color of your faction and the rest of the colors can be any combination of neutral colors which are black, white, grays and browns in different tones. Also don't paint adjacent areas on the model the same color and you'll be fine. When I paint my cultist I don't edge highlight or highlight blacks or leather areas that allows to save painting time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And feel free to leave any questions and comments on the comment section below. Like the video, comment, subscribe, and stay after the video to learn how to support my channel. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing. But you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.